Alright, so I was literally about to fall asleep, but then Dokkan was like, nope, no sleep for you. But you know what? It was worth staying up for this news because this is pretty freaking awesome. Okay, so as you guys saw from the title, from the thumbnail, from the in-game news, the next Dokkan Festival unit on Global is officially going to be Int Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. So it says, uh, new stage of Dokkan event coming soon, the ultimate fusion of Super Saiyan 4. Confront the peerless warrior who possesses tremendous power. Stay tuned for more information on the upcoming new stage. The event unrivaled ultimate fusion will be temporarily unavailable from the following period due to preparations for the new stage. So the preparation starts um, pretty much today, yeah, January 28th, Pacific Standard Time. And based on the timing of this notice, I would assume that this banner for the Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta is probably going to be dropping right around the time that the LR Mastered Ultra Instinct Goku and Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta banners drop on JP for the 6th anniversary. So, um, it's going to be a long night for your boy, man. I mean, I want to cover the anniversary stuff obviously on the JP side, but I also want to cover the Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta stuff and I want to summon on both sides, right? So am I going to have to do like back-to-back -back streams for my summons on JP first and then global or maybe global first and then JP? I don't really know, but uh, you know what? I'll figure it out because this is not a bad problem to have. You know, the usual complaint is that the game is too dead, there's nothing to do, and right now there's just way too much to do, way too much content, and uh, we'll make it work. Okay, so yeah, expect Int Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta to drop on the global side of the game um, in about two days, maybe three or four, if I'm lucky. I would like a bit of a difference between, you know, the anniversary banners and this one. Okay, you know what? Actually, judging by when the uh, Jiren and uh, Elder Kai banners go away, which is the 31st. I think the Gogeta banner is actually going to be dropping on January, or sorry, February 1st, which means that's going to be about two days or a day and a half after the anniversary banners, which of course for me is very good since I can split up the summons and not just die that night, right? So uh, yeah, guys, expect Gogeta to drop in about three days from now, or maybe a little bit longer. But uh, yeah, guys, he's coming soon. Let me know in the comments down below how many of you guys actually plan to summon for this guy. Um, I know many of you have been saving your stones specifically to uh, pull him. A lot of you guys skipped the Jiren banner because you knew that this guy was right around the corner. So uh, yeah, how many stones are you going to spend? Are you going to summon? Or are you going to be saving for the 6th uh, anniversary, which obviously is in July. Now the other bit of news we got is the announcement of a new stage added to the uh, Dragon Ball GT 7 Dragon or uh, Shadow Dragon Saga uh, story event, right? So it says, a new stage that can be only attempted once per day will be added to the story event Dragon Ball GT 7 Shadow Dragon Saga. In the new stage, skill orbs that can be equipped to Shadow Dragon Saga category characters can be obtained on the map or by defeating the bosses. In addition, skill orbs exclusive to Shadow Dragon Saga category allies can also be obtained by completing the new missions. Stay tuned for the new stage. So it's essentially going to be like the Universe 6 story event with the final stage being like a special stage that you can repeat once per day to get special skill orbs exclusively for the Shadow Dragon Saga category. So that's going to be pretty awesome too. And uh, yeah, guys, that's all the in-game news we got. Now, before we go, we are going to pop over to the Dokkan Wiki to quickly check out what Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta actually does for those of you that are in the dark about it. Okay, so his leader skill is Giant Ape Power, Category Key Plus 3, HP, Attack and Defense plus 150%, or Shadow Dragon Saga, Category Key Plus 3, HP, Attack and Defense plus 100%. And 50%. Now, if you have the Fizz Omega Shenron as well as Super Saiyan 4 Broly, then technically you don't need this guy. Although, of course, he is a much better leader than Super Saiyan 4 Broly since I believe Broly is only 130% across the board, right? And uh, man, this guy with the uh, Super Saiyan 4s, especially the Heroes Super Saiyan 4s, is going to be so much fun. So, for that purpose alone, 
I gotta have him. But obviously, there are many, many other reasons that I want this Gogeta. Number one, it's Gogeta. Number two, it's Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. Number three, um, he's a freaking OPS unit. So I think those reasons are definitely enough for most people. Anyways, uh, that's the leader skill. Super attack greatly raises attack and defense for one turn and causes immense damage. And passive is attack and defense plus 200%, key plus four, plus an additional attack and defense plus 40%, and attacks effective against all types for 8 turns from start of turn and then high chance of attacks effective against all types starting from the 9th turn and then high chance of evading enemy super attack and countering with tremendous power. So essentially for the first 8 turns he's going to get guaranteed attacks effective against all types and also this attack and defense boost and basically a guaranteed super attack. And of course, this 200% attack and defense is unconditional. And then after the 8th turn, he's not going to be as good since he does lose this part of his passive. And he doesn't get guaranteed attacks effective. He gets a high chance, which is 50% of attacks being effective against all types. But of course, he always keeps the high chance of evading enemy super attacks and countering with tremendous power. He also has an active skill, which is called Plus Energy Emission and it reduces enemy's attack and defense by 40% and increases his attack and defense by 40% for one turn and it can be activated after receiving damage four or more times in battle once only. His links are Super Saiyan, Kamehameha at shocking speed, over in a flash, GT Fuse Fighter, and Fierce Battle and categories are Fusion, Shadow Dragon Saga, Kamehameha, Final Trump Card, and Giant Ape Power. And lastly, some quick maths for you. His active skill is calculated separately, resulting in a total boost of attack and defense plus 376% during the first 8 turns, and attack and defense plus 320% starting from the 9th turn, because of course he does lose the 40% attack and defense right here, right? So uh, yeah, overall, Gogeta is just a very, very powerful unit, easily one of the best TURs in the game. Some people believe that he is the best. I don't quite place him that high, but he's definitely in my top five, maybe even top three. I have to think about it a little bit, but he's up there. He's definitely up there, and um, it's Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. He's got the leader skill that I really, really want. He's got some amazing animations. Um, what more could you want? I mean, of course, we now know that MUI Goku and Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta are coming. We don't know their details yet, but I can guarantee you they're both going to be insanely, insanely busted. So I guess before you decide how many stones you want to invest in his banner, um, maybe wait for the details for the LRs first, right? Uh, yeah, that's going to do it for today's video, guys. Just wanted to share this news of the upcoming Int Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta for Global, even though it's not going to be as hype as, uh, you know, LRMUI and Super Saiyan Blue Evolution, um, it's still pretty hype. It's still a nice consolation prize, in my opinion. And you know what? Yo, JP's getting a new Goku and Vegeta. Global's getting both of them as the same unit, so we only have to summon for one unit as opposed to two and save our stones. So who's the real winner here? I don't really know. Um, it's JP. But anyways, guys. <laughs> <laughs> that's gonna do it for today's video thank you so much for watching as always if you liked the video then make sure to like the damn video and if it's your first time watching me first time to the channel and you like what you see then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the tiger squad now and while you're at it hit that notification bell too so that youtube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content and that's it i'm out of here until next time hope you guys have a fantastic fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.